Hi, my name is Zachi Zach Weisfeld, and I'm the Vice President and General Manager of Intel Ignite, Intel for Startups. As we've seen in the startup snapshot research, the first place that founders go is to their significant other, their spouse, their partner in life. And, and this is their most important or most immediate support infrastructure. Although this is where most go, this is also one of the points where things break. So you need to make sure that your partner at home, your spouse, your significant other is also healthy and feel comfortable and feels involved. So I've seen thousands of startups establishing themselves. And I always make it an issue to make sure that the founders are fine at home as well and that they think about that. One of the things we do at Ignite is we do these co-founder spouse sessions. We actually bring the founders and the spouse to discuss the challenges they're facing. And what we see is the weeks after, this has actually become becomes part of the conversation about their startup and about their family and how do they do these things together. Expand your support infrastructure beyond your spouse or significant other. Contact friends and colleagues. You'd be surprised how many of them would love to help you. So build as many of these supporters that you can go and get advice, go and get some, some time with them, and even spend some time out of the office just having a relaxed time with friends. Super important. And one of the things we do at, um, at Ignite, we do these sessions where we call them CEO Dilemma Sessions. We're bringing together 10 founders, similar stage of funding for startup, and they discuss significant things they're going through. And it builds a peer support group. It's, you know, some of them call that, that's the weekly peer therapy session. It's good to have other colleagues other founders, people that are at similar stage to you that understands these challenges you're going through and can look at you eye to eye and tell you what they do in the situations you're facing right now or just spend time with you and, and just understand. So we talked about getting support from your spouse or significant other. We talked about building a network of friends and colleagues. And, you know, both are obvious, although many don't do that. One of the issues that are not being handled well, or only 10% of you, according to research, says that you're going to your investors to get support. And I understand the complexity, and it is complex. You know, you go to these people and you ask for their money, um, and you want to make sure that you seem strong. You understand what you're talking about. You don't break up, you don't break easily, right? But you're going to be surprised how many of them, with all the experience they have, with supporting other founders, working with other founders, would love to help you. They want your startup to be successful. They want you to be successful. So find that board member, that investor that you can trust. I'm sure you can find that one and, and have a conversation with them. Tell them how you feel. And you'll be surprised how much, how great advice you can get from them based on their experience working with other founders as well. Look, you're going through a process and there are people that are really great in helping people to go through challenging processes. So get some professional people to help you. If you, know, you need the best person to get your, their advice on, on your revenues, your code, whatever, you would try to get the best people. There are great people that could help you with your mental health. There are great psychotherapists, psychiatrists, variety of people that could help you with uh, with your mental well-being. And they're, this is what they're, they know how to do. They know how to follow a process to make you understand things you may not understand so far. And even being able to speak about the challenges. So it's not just about your spouse or significant other. It's not just about your friends and colleagues that sometimes don't have the right context. And sometimes not even your investors. There are things you want to say and you could say in, in a trusted way, in a safe way, with a professional. So seek help. Don't be at it alone.